YouTubers, these pears came from my aunt's pear tree in, in Louisiana, and I don't know what kind of pears they are, but they are humongous. I think they're canning pears. So what I'm going to do is make some pear juice and some pear preserves and some pear roll-up. And I have two more bags of these pears. I decided I not more, to make so the juice hey, or the pear roll-ups. I just garden. preserved the pears. I forgot to bring you along on. I got the pears and I'll be using the apple core to peel the pear. You set it up. This will peel it. This the core goes through. You tighten it here and you screw it on there and I'm gonna press it all the way back. So it's at the beginning and now we can want to get core. And it'll push the core through the center ring while it peels just like you do for apples. So this is gonna save me a bunch of time. This corner. And then this is what it looks like when it's finished. See that? So this apple core does great for pears too. And if you wanna fry some spiral potatoes, you can use it for that as well. So I just wanted you guys to come along and see me do one pear and they're all the rest. So, and then I just cut them in half and I can can them like this. I have them soaking in lemon water so they don't go brown. All right. TC enjoys gardening and we're preserving pears and I'll be back. Oh, and let me show you. It comes off and that's the core that's left behind. And I'm using that to make pear vinegar. Okay. I'll be back. I got these in the pot now after I sliced them. And to, I have them sitting in the syrup for like 5-10 minutes. And my syrup had ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. I got my glass. By the way, my all my jars are a pint and a half and size. the rest of my pears. They're turning brown because they've been sitting in the air. I didn't leave them in the lemon juice. But once I get them in the syrup and they start cooking, once again, all my jars are 24 ounce pint and a half jars. Sorry for the confusion. For my six pint and a half, if not, I'll make more. So now I'm going to put my seals on and put them in the steam can. Now these are all the pears that, the jars of pears that I preserved. And they're beautiful. This is what I have left. I'm going to make some jam with these pears. And I'm going to use the leftover syrup, light syrup, that I use for canning all these gorgeous pears. Thank you, Auntie. Hope you guys enjoyed my pear, my canning of the pears. We got some more jars. So two, four, six, eight, ten. These are pint and, pint and quart and jars. So this is the total with all the pears. It's like apple cider. I'm making pear vinegar and it's been fermenting. So it's time to stir it. Get all of them flipped over and I'll have some pear vinegar or I may decide to make some pear wine. We shall see. I will let you guys know, but I just want to share this with you. And I have one more bag of pear cores and peels to get another jar started. All right, they're looking good. That's a good sign. I put a cup of sugar in here, and because I have so much, I think I put a cup and a half of sugar to two in this big jar. Water from my Berkey. So everything's coming along just fine. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right, thanks for watching. Get out there, harvest something, grow something, and preserve something. Teaks enjoys gardening and life. Thanks for watching. Bye.